So the name 3D Connection is synonymous with a plethora of superlatives, but the bottom line being that today the 3D Connection brand and their products they're relied on in pretty much every corner of the globe, from small business all the way through to some of the biggest companies in the world. And they're mostly known for the popular entry level, you know, the two button space mouse. But over the years, they've developed and released to market a range of devices at a staggered level with like from basic end to premium end with the current flagship being the Enterprise and more recently they've boldly entered into the traditional can we still call it the 2D PC mouse market with the CAD mouse which I've been personally using exclusively for nearly two years now since it was first released and generally all new 3D connection products start life off as wired devices with the usual USB cable to a PC and that's not because they just don't know that wireless stuff exists or how to do it it's actually because their biggest clients simply don't allow wireless devices on site so new products are initially cabled for strategic market positioning. But in time they deliver, wireless is indeed inevitable and in high demand and earlier this year they finally released the CAD mouse wireless. So what they inevitably did was had a meeting about it, figured hey wouldn't it make sense to put the CAD mouse wireless and the space mouse wireless into a nifty little kit along with a big hearty dollop of discount and boom you've got yourself the space mouse wireless kit, the mobile CAD solution. So I hadn't planned on mentioning this, but the packaging situation going on right here needs to be praised. Now I've opened a fair few product boxes in my time, mate, and the unboxing experience really is absolutely vital in setting those all important first impressions because it invokes like a perpetual emotional response when you first get your hands on your new thing. And they've just nailed it here. It's as professional as the products themselves. And as you'll have seen in that little montage reeled just before this, in the kit they didn't just stop with the CAD mouse and the space mouse, nope, they also included the CAD mouse compact. And while some people might just go, meh, it's just a mouse pad mate, well for myself, after using it for a couple of years, I'm actually going to call it the last mouse pad I'm ever going to buy because baby Jesus, it's good. So anyway, all in, yes indeed, you get the CAD mouse wireless, you get the CAD mouse pad compact, the space mouse wireless, you get the USB receiver which connects up both devices to your PC at the same time and you get yet another micro USB charging cable to add to your collection of cables that you've got accumulated in a drawer over in the corner and charging for both mice can occur from either a powered USB port or a USB hub of some description or any other powered USB port you might have kicking about like this IKEA charging lamp that I've got in the corner. Personally though, on a side note, I'd have preferred it if they'd been a little bit more bold and brave and made the jump to USB type C here instead of prolonging the existence of micro USB, but I get it, it doesn't actually matter. USB-C wouldn't have actually added anything to the devices. Uh, but that, that's just a thing for a different day. It makes no difference to the functionality here. I just would have preferred USB-C. But this kit is just the gift that keeps on giving, mate, because you're also gracefully supplied with two professionally presented protective carry cases for your delectation and delight. One for each device, no less, because this kit is designed for those of the mobile persuasion. And if you're, if you're going to hold these things around with you, they take a beating at the bottom of a laptop bag like mine has. And look, right, marketing just saying that stuff is high quality kind of means nothing these days. Days. It's just an overly used description at the point that literally everyone just says it regardless of whether they've actually bothered to do anything to make something high quality. But if you're looking for some real evidence of that 3D connection quality, well then check this out mate. Look at this, it looks like a brand new Space Mouse wireless doesn't it? Nope. This is mine, right? This little puppy's mine. I've had it for two years and I got it before they started bundling a carry case in the box. So for two years this has been unprotected in the same pocket of this poorly designed laptop bag banging up against everything else in the bag. Let me tell you mate, this bag's seen some miles. It's been used daily and it's been as far as Australia. And look at it, how, how, how can this still look this new after two years of being almost perpetually in the bottom of a bag unprotected? I have no idea, but hats off to 3D Connection for that. 
Still though, I'd rather it was in a carry case and the same goes for the CAD mouse. So these are very welcome and they look well professional to boot. As for the devices themselves, I've already done multiple videos on the channel. So if you want to see how a 3D mouse works, then by all means, check out those videos. But of course, I'll no doubt edit in some demonstrational footage over the top here so you can see it all in action. Uh, but read the Space Mouse Wireless itself. It features the same six degrees of freedom sensor underneath the trademark 3D mouse cap. Uh, it's the same it's the same sensor that you get in all 3D mice in the 3D connection range. It's got two physical tactile buttons which are programmable using the 3D x squared crossware, I don't know, the driver itself, uh, which is an absolute delight, honestly. It allows you to map the buttons on the device to actual application commands, which then change mapping based on program context. And then there's sorcery-inspired, super grippy rubber pads on the bottom to prevent it from budging anywhere during use. There's a micro USB charging port on the rear, various LED lights to indicate, hey, I'm on, and a physical on-off switch for, hey, no, you're not, mate. Uh, I want to save some battery life. And speaking of which, inside it's got a 500 milliamp rechargeable lithium ion polymer battery, which they say will last for one whole month based on eight hours use per day for five days per week on one charge, which is outrageously impressive. And given that the device is pretty much guaranteed to always be literally less than a couple of feet away from a port that can charge it up, battery life just frankly is never going to be an issue with these things. On another side note, Personally, I think if they really wanted to, they could have split and divided these two elongated buttons into four or even six smaller buttons, you know, like two or three on either side. And that wouldn't have made it too congested or neither would it have stepped on the toes of the more premium devices, but you never know. This might be a possible future thing for a future refresh. And as for the CAD mouse wireless, well, mate, at first, cards on the table. I wasn't seeing the hype when I first received the wired version two years ago. It was nice, but I was like, I'm not sure what the big deal is. But without even consciously knowing when or how it happened, I've ended up using it every day as my main mouse since the day I got it. There's just something about it. It's all subjective and at the mercy of personal preference, of course, but like I've got quite big hands and this just fits perfectly. I hate small mice. I hate having to claw grip on the tiny buttons and the CAD mouse just feels right. And the obvious unique selling point here is the three button layout with it having that middle button in addition to the left and right buttons. That did take some getting used to, but once you're used to it, uh, like uh, obviously for CAD panning and orbiting, uh, mostly it becomes surprisingly natural to use and you kind of don't want to do without it and it also the it has the clickable scroll wheel which can do what the middle button does for those who prefer that it's got a macro button on top which invokes the driver user interface again like the 3d mouse the, this brings up four quadrants that can be mapped to application functions as well and all you do is you simply flick the mouse in the direction of the quadrant and that executes the command that you've mapped to it it's very useful once you make a habit of using it it's got two thumb buttons, typically forward and back, outside of CAD. Uh, I use these pretty much often as left and right mouse button clicks for jumping forwards and backwards on web pages, but in CAD, they default to zoom in and zoom out, which personally I don't use as I find the scroll wheels easier to get to ergonomically and it's got greater control and accuracy for zoom functions. And for the battery on the card mouse, well, like the 3D mouse, it's got a 500 milliamp battery, but again, this just shouldn't ever be an issue because it's always gonna be a matter of inches away from a charging port. But a hefty two months of usage is claimed and it can be connected up to your laptop or your PC using either the 2.4 gigahertz wireless channel via the supplied USB receiver or Bluetooth 4.0, which is really useful if you temporarily lose the receiver. Or of course you can run it cabled, which will charge it up at the same time. So you've got plethora of options. If you, if you care about the optical sensor statistics, mate, then woo, I bet those long cold winter nights just fly by in your house. So for that killer conversation piece, it's a 7,200 DPI optical sensor at an adaptive polling rate of up to 1,000 hertz when using USB. Uh, those are the stats. Now for my thoughts, right, straight, I'm not gonna lie. I thought this thing was gonna be an exact carbon copy of the wired version, but wireless instead. Nope, negative on that one, sir. I wouldn't say it's fundamentally redesigned by any stretch, but from the original, it's tiny in comparison. It's around 20% smaller, I'd say, and certain contours are altered to make it ever so slightly ergonomically and aesthetically different. And as a result, all the buttons are all smaller. Jumping from the wired to the wireless and back again, honestly, they both feel great. I can't say either or feels better than the other. The smaller wireless one feels more like you're grabbing the mouse without it being a claw grip, whereas the wired mouse feels like you're resting your hand on it. But even with that, it's impossible to prefer one over the other. The buttons are all equally accessible. So I guess to answer the question, which one is better? Well, as I've just mentioned, it kind of doesn't matter. If you need or want a fully wireless setup, then get the kit. If you want 
the full solution and the discount that comes with it. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? But if you're just considering the mouse on its own, well, if you've got big hands like me and you don't really need wireless, well then mate, get the wired version. But if you like wireless and have a thing for cable management, then yeah, get the wireless one. You're not losing any functionality either way. They're functionally identical. Right, so a couple of things to think about here, which absolutely should not put you off, right? But look at this CAD mouse here, right? This is the wired one that I've had for two years. I've used it probably on average 12 to 14 hours per day. Yes, I'm inhumanely busy and it's showing signs of wear and tear. It's gonna, it's never moved from my desk and it's never been abused. So these are purely accelerated signs of long-term use. Don't forget, I've used this mouse more in the last two years than most people will have probably used a computer in their lifetime. At first, honestly, I thought this was an actual strip of brushed aluminium, but it turns out it's plated plastic made. Who knew? And where my thumb naturally rests on it, it's worn down through friction, which just is not a big deal, but it's just a thing. It, that is going to wear down over time. Second, those PTFE feet on the bottom do indeed glide like an Olympic ice skater across the CAD mouse pad, but after heavy excessive use, the friction between the feet and the pad is beginning to wear down on the feet. It still glides nicely, and honestly, you'd never know unless you check for it or compared it with a new one, but, but it definitely doesn't still have the same effortless glide like it did on day one. That's just wear and tear though, that happens, that is to be expected. Uh, but 3D Connection are a company for the design professional and as such they've revised even the wired CAD mouse over the years, ironing out some known issues and replacing parts with higher quality components. So now is a pretty good time to get in on this if you want one of these kits. And they honor a two year warranty as well on the devices, which is a damn sight more than you get on most home electrical goods and appliances. So that's a solid indicator of how confident 3D Connection are in the quality of their products. So mate, that's the Space Mouse Wireless Kit. Pretty decent value if you're in the market for the full lot today. Prices in the US right now have the kit at $199, where it'll all set you back $267 if you were to buy all the parts separately. $199 for all this, which is gonna last you for years, along with regular driver updates whenever your CAD software is migrated. It's not even up for debate, mate. It's an absolute winning deal. Just imagine, mate, how pro you're gonna look opening up these bad boys onto your desk. It's gonna be envy-inspiring, even if you don't know what you're doing. You're just gonna look like you know what you're doing, mate. Make the Joneses keep up with you. Thank you very much. And I'll See you in the next video. Toodles.